Hey guys, Sangus Folger here, and today we're going to be starting a completely new series called Utile Circuits, and basically I'm just going to be telling, teaching you guys um, pretty much everything I know about redstone and uh, how it works and uh, little useful tips and tricks that you can use in either larger builds or just uh, useful things around your base. So today we're going to be talking about monostables, and um, a monostable is basically a circuit that is stable in one state. So as you can see, this repeater is the output, and it is in the off state. Now if we activate this circuit, it will turn on shortly, and then turn back off. So uh, we're going to press this button, and as you can see, now it doesn't have to be a really short pulse. Uh, a monostable just means it is stable in one state. Um, but this works by a piece of dust, which is a dot. So a dot, if you did not know, can power blocks um, both beneath it, which it is powering this block and this piston, as well as the four blocks around it. But they're being soft powered. I'll try to explain that later. But um, it is powering this block and going through this piston, I mean this uh, repeater. However, at the same time, this piston is getting powered, so it pushes the block up and uh, cuts off the stream of power from the dust to the, uh, the repeater. So uh, this will give what is known as a one-tick pulse, and what is useful about one-tick pulses is they can be fed into uh, sticky pistons, and it is fast enough that it won't retract the block back. So there we go. It do that and then next time you press it it'll pull it back so that's really useful um, now it doesn't this doesn't have to give you a one tick pulse it can also give you a two tick pulse and up to a four tick pulse um, so it, it has a four tick delay and then it gives you a four tick pulse so um, we can also make easily make whoa that was weird um, a uh, some pulse lengtheners and make like an, uh, this will give you an eight tick pulse if you set all of them to max delay um, using uh, repeater locking so we're gonna watch this and see what happens and as you see nothing happens because this block is being soft powered by the dust now this dust will uh, transfer power through a block to a repeater or torch but it can't give power to another uh, piece of dust. So uh, if we want to do that, we're going to have to add a repeater on this side, place a button there, and that will give you an 8-tick pulse. Now it'll give you 5-tick pulse, and 6, 7, 8, and so on, but uh, that is also useful. Um, so another thing this circuit is used for is... Um, to make s sort of a uh, binary counter and uh, we're going to just put those in and before we start notice there's just a piece of dust here and this will give you um, a zero or a half tick pulse so if it's like that on the bottom it'll do it but if watch if you uh, put the repeater, I mean the piston, right there, it should be powering it. Or, well, it should when uh, the uh, the piston goes. But, it's too short and the piston won't recognize it. So when it powers this block and you have a piston down here or down here, it'll, it'll see it and it'll fire. Well, I, that didn't fire. Anyway, it's buggy. So, yeah, make sure you have... You, you don't just feed it dust into a piston and you put a repeater after it. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, one more thing that I wanted to tell you guys. And uh, so here we go. This will give you a pulse every four times you hit the button. So you hit it once and it gave you a pulse. And then you will net uh, four uh, presses later. That's two, that's three, and then that gave you a pulse. So, um, that's cool. And it is, 
it's uh, these chained together and it is in um, exponentially by two so you have two here this one doesn't count you have two and that'll give you four and then 3 is 8, and then 4 is 16, and so on. But another way that this can be used, or another variation of it, is with a regular piston and sand, or gravel, or red sand, if you have plenty of that. But um, this won't make the whole binary thing, but it's very useful because uh, you don't have to have slime balls. So that will work just the same. Sometimes, however, if you have, if this pulses semi-rapidly, then this, the sand will sometimes break. So that's one downfall with the regular piston and the sand. But uh, other than that, it is just as useful as the uh, sticky and the block. So it's about time to go to our next monostable. Alright, so here is our second monostable that we're going to be talking about today, and this basically consists of a dropper, make sure it's not a dispenser, or else the item will just fly out wherever, one item, a hopper, and a comparator. So basically this works by the dropper uh, dropping the item up into the hopper, the comparator taking an output out of the hopper, and then it feeding it back into the dropper. Now, a comparator will give a redstone output whenever there is, whenever it is backed up against a, um, a block that can hold items, and there are items in there. So, there are no items in the hopper because it automatically feeds back into the dropper. But um, when you press this button and you power this block, it'll power, it'll uh, block power this uh, dropper. And it'll go up into the hopper, and it'll give her a redstone output through the comparator. So, like that. Now, this is not a one-tick pulse. It's about three ticks. So, if you, if you need a one-tick pulse, then this is not what you would use. However, another thing is, if you just have a regular old item, like a piece of redstone or a block or something, then it will only give you one signal strength. So... We can see this using torches. It will turn on this uh, piece of dust, but it won't reach this one because it's just one item. Um, and the hopper, to uh, have full 15 signal strength, it has to have five stacks of items. So it will give one signal strength, and it'll turn this torch off so we can see. But it can't reach the second one. Now, if you need it to be longer than one signal strength, which usually you would, you can use a repeater, and that'll go up to the full 15 blocks after that. Or um, you can also, if you only need it to be three blocks, you can just replace the redstone or whatever with a non-stackable item, such as a sword or a, uh, a shovel or a boat or uh, just something that cannot be stacked because that takes up an entire spot because th this would be full so it'll give you an output of three um, pieces of dust so if you only need uh, a signal strength of three then just use a non-stackable item and you don't have to waste your repeater so this circuit can be used many ways um, you can just pr push the button put the button right here and it'll power this block and then into the disp uh, the dropper and it'll work like that um, it'll, you can do it down here and it'll work you can feed a redstone signal into it like that or a repeater or if you have a piston and you push a redstone block into this, it'll power it just the same. Um, just make sure you don't actually run the uh, dust or 
a repeater directly into it because then it'll stay powered and it won't be able to come back down until this current turns off so that stays on until the button goes back off which is still only about a second but um, if you really want the true monostable um, and you have like a lever or something then this wouldn't it, it, you've taken it from a monostable to just a, a way to transmit power <laughs> um, so it can also be used uh, as like a falling edge if you place a torch next to it so this torch is powering this dropper and it'll go on the falling edge just make sure you don't actually place the torch directly facing up into the dropper because then it'll just stay on and it won't un until the button turns back off see so it's it's powered so it can't go back down however if you uh, place a block in between these then it'll work just fine so yes uh, also it doesn't have to be straight up it can be off to the side like this and have the hopper running back into it and then you just place a block next to it place a button on it and I didn't put an item in there so you can see that's working just fine and also comparators can still get tr uh, get power um, through a block so if you have a block there and a comparator there it'll still get power so like that and it doesn't have to be straight out that way it can be out to the side as long as you don't have a block here and then trying to put a comparator here because that's not it has to be straight from the hopper it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to ha be a straight line from the dropper to the hopper to the comparator but it has to be a straight line through the drop the hopper and the block and the comparator so as you can see this will work so that is pretty much the hopper dropper monostable it will give about a three tick pulse and you can lengthen it with any other pulse lengthener if you put a four tick repeater it will give a four tick delay but it will give a four tick pulse so there you have a four tick pulse so just another little circuit that is very useful and i've used countless times and i hope you will find it useful as well so to the next uh, monostable and the final monostable that we are going to be talking about today is this one and this one is not as used as often but it is very useful nonetheless and let's see it working we play we just press this button and we actually get a one tick pulse out of this torch which can um, be uh, that it can travel up torch towers which is very difficult to find a monostable that does this after 1.5 so as you can see we have a one tick pulse up there and if to test it out we use a piston and a block and if it'll spit it out then it is a one tick pulse and it does so there we go um, now it is generally a falling edge monostable but if you place a button right here and a torch you can just invert the signal um, but if you place the button there then it will pulse on the falling edge of the button like that now the way this works is a little bit harder to explain um, comparators have a shorter pulse they can they they're shorter than a repeater so since a torch now has pretty much it's if it if you think about it it has like a 1.5 tick that it has to have in order to give a pulse um, then if this is 0.5 and this is 1 then and this is one then you have a one tick pulse here so yeah there we go I don't know if you understood that or not but 
um, I did my best, and it, it was probably terrible. But anyway, um, this is silent, and it is uh, it's one wide, so it can be fit into a lot of different places very easily, and I think it is very useful as well. Obviously, the torch doesn't have to be over there. It can be over there. It can be up there, um, as long as it's coming out of that block. Um, the button can be up here. Oops, wrong button. Um, you can have a block here with a torch coming out of it, just to invert it so it's no longer a falling edge. But make sure that this dust is facing into this block or else it won't power this block. And uh, that is pretty important because it powers this repeater. So say if you had a... Uh, if you have a, a torch here, then that will not power this repeater, and thus the monostable will not work. It is the length of the button pulse, which is not what we want. So make sure this dust is facing into this block. If it's a dot, that's good. Um, heck, you could have a, a block up there with a torch, and it works just fine. So. Uh, it's very useful, uh, as most of the monostables that I'm showing today are, and obviously there are not just three monostables, there are hundreds upon thousands, and I'm not going to have time to show them all to you today, uh, probably ever, but um, just know that these are not the only three, so yeah, um, I think this has been a successful video, and I hope you liked it, now if you did, then go ahead and leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And also, um, I've had a Twitter for a little while now, and it is, uh, I only have about 8 followers, and considering I have over 100 subscribers, I think that's a little silly. Um, so since YouTube screwed up the annotations, um, I cannot put a link in the video, but it will be in the description to my, uh, my Twitter account. And also, if you want to go check me out on Google+, Plus, it's not very useful, but I only have one follower, even though it, uh, that happens to be Mumbo Jumbo, so uh, that's pretty cool. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, see me next time. Bye.